equation five. Shade the region P intersection R complement intersection Q on the Venn diagram in the answer space below. So, what is key here is understanding what R complement means. So, R complement means what is not found in R. Then we compare it with what is found in P and Q, then what is common amongst these three sets. So, the easiest way to do this is to know this principle that if you have say P intersection other complement intersection Q is the same as P intersection Q intersection R complement. This is based on the principle of like multiplication A times B times C is the same as A times C times B. Use the same principle. So you notice that like this it becomes straightforward. The first thing that you need to do is start with this part. Compare what is found in P and Q. Then from what is found in P and Q, subtract. Remember, complement says what is not there. So you subtract set R, which is a complement. So you will notice that we have P intersection Q is this one. It's all this set. That's P intersection Q. So now in this intersection, remove whatever is in that intersection between P and Q and also is found in R because R complement means what is not found in R. So what you do is you remove this part. So whatever you remain with is P intersection R complement intersection Q which is the same as P intersection Q intersection R complement. This is how you answer this. If you wanted to go step by step, you would do what is found in P, then you compare it with what is not found in R. So meaning at this point, you look at P, the entire set P, entire set P, which is this one. Then in this set P, you remove what is in R. So what do you remain with? You are going to remain with this set. You see this set? Like that. This is this part. Then whatever it means, they are compare it with what is found in Q. Find what is common between this new set and the Q. You will notice you see, this set is still alive at the same one, which is the set in red using that approach. So I've given you two approaches. You still end up with the same answer. Just as a point of emphasis for those who may not get it, P intersection R complement means you look at set P, then you take out R because complement of R means what is not found in R. So you look at P, this entire set P, you've seen this one, but you need to subtract what is in R. So meaning set P is now reduced by removing this part. Okay, this is the P intersection R complement. Now, what you remain with? Compare it with what is found in Q. Where is the common point? Remember, Q is this one. But also in Q, R should not be found, which is R complement. So again, this is reduced to this point because R is a complement. What you notice is we have this region of commonality where the element are found in P and Q. That's how you arrive at the answer using two approaches. So whichever works for you, go for it.